Hey everyone, Chase here with a uh, another video today. Today we're going to be talking about a great way to save money. I know everyone wants to try to save money in lawn care by getting into it, buying uh, buying cheaper products. Uh, but today we're going to talk about how to save money doing your own bug spraying, pest management. You might be wondering, well, how, how, how is it that I'm going to do that, you know? professionals out there make a lot of money doing this and they have good products so how am I as a homeowner going to get the same products that they are for the roughly the same price and have the same outcomes as they do so if you have a pest management company uh, the one I was using before was charging about $130 a quarter um, to do my pest management. They sprayed the house, they sprayed, sprayed around, ran through the eaves, and then sent me a bill for $130. So $130, four times a year, it adds up. So I sat down, I looked at the costs, I looked at what they were applying. They were applying a product called Bifin IT, which you can find that uh, online. A lot of uh, products use the active ingredient in that which is uh, bithymphrin. You can buy it in the concentrate form. You can buy two different types. Oh, there's a bunch of bees right here. Huh. You can buy multiple ones. There's Bifin IT. Uh, there's Bifin XTS, which is what I ended up buying. But I went online and I found a pint of that and it was going for about $44 for a pint. And when you look at the application rates for those, it's relatively low when you look at the per app costs and what they were charging. So if we come and take a look at the label here, on use sites for outdoor siding foundations, all of this, right, I'm gonna go off the 0 0.06 dilution. So we use one third fluid ounce per gallon of water. So we're gonna treat one gallon of water per thousand foot that we're gonna cover. Quick math, I got 2,000 square foot of perimeter that we're gonna spray. One third fluid ounce per thousand, 2,000 square feet times 0.33 equals 0.66 fluid ounces. This is a 32 fluid ounce chug. If this is barely getting, if we're not even using a full fluid ounce per application, 32 times 0.66, what is that? I mean, roughly, what's that giving us per application? So, we go over here. We've got little markings for half and full ounce, so we're just gonna squeeze this till we get to that half mark there. So we're at the half mark. All we do, once we take that, we just unscrew it. Pour it in, and then we're gonna go just a little more over, a little more over half, pour it on in. So now that we got the product in there, let's fill it up with water and let's get the spray. So we're gonna start over here and we're just gonna take it from about three feet up and we're just gonna make a little pattern up it, up the, the side and then back down.
One thing to note when you're doing this, pick up all the all the the dog toys, get the water bowls flipped over so you don't spray your dog bowls. And then Read the labels, know what you're targeting, and apply it per the label. I'll have a cost breakdown in this video of everything that I bought. Do you have to go out and buy a $300 four and a half gallon backpack sprayer, battery operated? No, there's other options. There's a two gallon battery powered sprayer that I use that I think was like $75 on Amazon. That's what I used when I started out. I would not go with a pump sprayer. After going through the battery sprayers and dealing with all of that, dealing with uh, pump sprayers, battery sprayers, battery sprayers where it's at. They're so much easier. They maintain consistent pressure, or not consistent, constant pressure on the, the line. It gets a better spray cover. You're not having to stop and pump the can every pass you get it's consistency you get consistent results with a battery powered sprayer now the my four sons i love has a little i bought the little shooting gun thing so it shoots the stream out which you'll probably see made it easier to get up in the eaves so, i love it can't say enough good things i i don't really have a negative to it yet i will Really, the only negative I have is that I feel like I lose an eighth of a gallon on the bottom if you're like holding it the wrong way on your back. But I'll get used to that. All in all, I like it. So it, it's not that difficult to do what the professionals do. It's relatively easy. You just have to be confident in what you're doing, read up, research, know what you're trying to target, and apply it correctly. So on that, make sure you like and subscribe for more lawn tips and how to save money in the lawn.